okay? And neither should you be taking Vicodin and then driving your kids to school. Think about that, okay? The reality is that's the dangerous stuff, but also reactive of I have a problem and then I'm going to react with it to this nice, natural, safe thing that I got from Whole Foods. You know, I got this bunch of herbs and things and that are all wonderful, but I'll wait till I have a problem and then dose myself with all kinds of that stuff. That's still the mindset of not taking care of your body in the first place. It's a very important twist versus wellness care is doing a whole range of different things to take care of your body so you never end up needing that stuff. Now, if you don't understand the difference, really important, okay? Uh, it's a turning point that if you get your head around that, maybe it's all, all the difference in the world in terms of your health and well-being. The reason why we put so much emphasis on the spine and taking care of people, myself and Dr. Rochelle, um, is because your nerve system is inside there. That is what we're concerned about. Your central nerve system controls and coordinates your body. You live your life through your nerve system brain, your spinal cord, the nerves that go out through your body. Um, there's one of these models, okay? Now, like, this is not from someone who didn't make it. It's a model, okay? But you got brain, spinal cord, nerves that go out for 12 miles, every cell, tissue, and organ of your body. That's what's important about your spine. The hard stuff around it is the hard stuff around it to protect what's inside there. When there's changes to the integrity of that spinal cord, like if it was ripped like that, that'd be bad. Okay? Okay? Yellow plastic spinal cord. Not really plastic. But goes through there and goes out. Millions of messages are going through there to keep your body working appropriately. To keep your organs functioning right. To make your, help your body parts able to move. Your nervous system literally controls everything about you. Your cardiovascular system, your respiratory system, your immune capacity, your ability to fight off everything is controlled by your nerve system. Your nerve system loses its function, your immune system goes downhill incredibly fast. In fact, there was a particular study that was done with AIDS patients, so it's the most significant immune-affecting disease of our time, and they found that people that had chiropractic care at that, that had AIDS, their, their, immune boost, their immune system boosted something like 60%. So think about that. Why, you should be thinking, like, how is that possible? Because your nerve system controls and coordinates your immune response, okay? It makes that happen in the first place. So first thing I want people to take away from this is one, is that your spine houses your nerve system. Number two, your nerve system controls everything about you, okay? Number three, really important, okay, is that your body how should I say this? All right. If people's bodies are self-healing, your body has an incredible inborn capacity to heal. If you cut yourself, okay, and, and cut yourself open, and you get a wound, and you put a door band-aid on it, all right, it's not the door band-aid that heals it. Nor doesn't have some magical fit power, okay, to heal your body. Okay, there's something inside there that does that. Does that make sense? If you break your arm, it's not the cast that heals you. So that's the third thing. Your body has an amazing, divine, inborn, innate, miraculous capacity to heal. Every single person's body does. You can think of any disease, just about any, and you'll find someone somewhere on the planet that was recovered from it on their own. You ever think about that? If you think of any disease, someone somewhere has been able to come recover from that. That means you have that capacity within your own body too. Just like they do. But if your body is miraculously self-healing, how come it's so hard to find people that are well through their whole lifetime? How come it's so hard to find someone that goes their whole life without having to resort to those more drastic things. Because your body can heal itself. So, think about that. What happens is, when there's a change of alignment of your spine, or there's a curvature of your spine, or basically any kind of pressure on that spinal cord of those nerves, it blocks the capacity for your body to heal. 
it blocks, it basically makes a brown out at the spinal level. And whatever is on the other end of that part of your body, depending on where there's pressure is, is going to limit the function of that area. Does that make sense? Okay, we don't need to test the arms now. <laughs> but that makes sense. So understand, if you took, we said to Bill here, that the nerves that come out through here go to his heart, right? These here. And you don't really need those. We're just going to cut them with the law says we're just going to cut you open, cut up, cut all those three bundles. What's going to happen to him? The nerves go to his heart, just several. It's not rocket science, right? You're going to stop, okay? Because that area is disconnected from your brain. The weight of a dime on any nerve is enough to reduce nerve signal by 60%. So you think that good, strong power coming out from the brain out to poor Bill's heart here, okay? Well, not poor Bill, it's looking good, okay? 100% that there's a weight of a dime that's going to be like that. And then how is his heart or liver or kidney or lungs or what have you going to function? It's going to be weaker. Okay? Now understand, if you think about that, that means a lot of people, 90% of your nerves have nothing to do with sensing pain. You can have that going on and have no idea that that's going on without it being checked. You can have that kind of pressure going to some part of your spine and not realize it, but turning down the function in your liver or your kidneys or what have you. I have a person that we're taking care of right now um, that was diagnosed with diabetic retinopathy, was diagnosed with diabetes something like 24, 25 years ago. And um, he came to us for a number of reasons, one of them not his diabetes, but he lost his vision 20 years ago from diabetic retinopathy um, completely and has been, got, had that situation for a long time. Um, came in to see us over the course of several visits, he started seeing spots, little spots of light. Little spots of light, so I just can see spots of light of this one eye. Not restore his vision, but spots. Just recently, I think it was last month, he came and told us that his doctor, his retinologist, wants to contact us to do a study because the first time his eye pressure has gone to a normal range in 20 years. Not because chiropractic is a magical cure for your eyes, okay, or that we're special, but I want you to understand it's connected to the health of your whole body, even something like your eyes. And depending on where there's pressure, it will have long-term impact on so many different aspects of your health and well-being that you couldn't even fathom it, okay? I, I, think about this. One of the things that we get asked most often when people come into our office, Almost all the time, people, I mean, probably almost everybody that's seen us in this room has asked this question when we've shown them their x-rays or their tests or how their spine was functioning. They'll ask, how did it get that way? Almost everybody asks, it's like the most asked question in my office, how did my spine, you know, the first thing, how did my spine end up looking like that? Why does it look like that? How did that happen? Now let's think about that. <coughs> what kind of things can impact a person's spine?